Artificial intelligence shifts the global balance. While the West is conducting ethics debates, one global power in the Far East is expanding its autocratic system with big data. In the Soviet Union, surveillance and censorship were widespread out of fear that spread of information could destabilize the empire. In the early 1960s, even photocopiers throughout the Soviet Union were closed off and only available in the presence of official witnesses. In the end, the Soviet communism failed because it built a bureaucracy that collapsed under its own burden. Progress cannot be locked away. That is the lesson from the fall of the Iron Curtain. Since 1990, liberalism and democracy have triumphed over autocratic systems and have established a liberal world order. Thirty years have passed since then and things have changed. Shaken by the financial crisis and unsettled by the rise of populists, the West quarrels with itself. And now experts are analyzing future scenarios on behalf of the Pentagon. The crisis of liberal democracy coincides with the shift in power to repressive regimes, the scale of which we are just beginning to understand. The General Staff of the US Armed Forces has released a study these days that identifies a new ideological competitor of the West. The Digital Dictatorship. Artificial intelligence and big data promise to reshape the world order, it states. Just as competition between liberal, democratic, fascist and communist societies shaped the 20th century, so could the struggle between digital liberal democracy and digital authoritarianism define the 21st century. Artificial intelligence makes totalitarianism competitive again in the battle for systems by drastically reducing the cost of surveillance. Digital dictatorships no longer need to lock up progress like their analog predecessors. They have the tools to exercise control without stifling creativity. Collective oppression gives way to selective bondage. China is currently building core components of such a system of digital authoritarianism. The Pentagon study estimated China's spending on internal security at $196 billion in 2018 alone. In the past 30 years, China's development, especially the numerous more liberal reforms, made the West hope for a political opening up and a possible regime change from within. This hope is now shattered. China is not the only authoritarian regime in the world, but it is undoubtedly the richest, strongest and most advanced in machine learning and artificial intelligence. The fact that the digital era is changing the rules of international politics has also spread in the Kremlin. Those who take the leadership over AI become the rulers of the world, Vladimir Putin said once. Europe lags far behind. The authors of the Pentagon Papers simply define AI as automated learning systems that evaluate data to perform complicated tasks. From a geopolitical perspective, the AI debate is about the development of repression technologies that solve the problem of the Soviet Union's failure. That enforced order ultimately means stagnation because the surveillance apparatus buries social dynamics among itself. AI questions one of the last certainties that the uncertain West could cling to. Only free systems of government could afford to allow social change. Only they are progress compatible, we thought. With the Great Firewall, China has been showing for years how tailor-made censorship works. Information that is economically valuable can spread unhindered. On the other hand, political ideas are curtailed. The modern surveillance state restricts freedom of expression but leaves enough room for becoming rich and thus incentivizes innovation. Already, China's IT companies can compete with world leaders in the Silicon Valley, with Tencent, Alibaba and Baidu challenging Facebook, Amazon and Google. The bond between state and large corporations is very close in the autocracy of the 21st century. China's leadership calls its repressive vision society management, an Orwellian vocabulary as scary as its potential. Computer systems will probably soon predict the outbreak of unrest. The technical challenges are hardly more demanding than the computer-assisted crime prediction which is already being experimented with in Europe. With WeChat, Tencent's all-rounder app with nearly a billion users, you can already call up heat maps that show where people are gathering. 
This is exactly what a surveillance state dreams of, starting with political cleansing before a dissident becomes a dissident. Some believe that the bleak future of high-tech autocracy has already begun. The current reality cannot quite keep up with such scary analysis. The Chinese security apparatus is far from being all-powerful, as Western observers occasionally portray it. But the progress is big enough to alert the military strategists in the Pentagon, and that's the key. International politics is determined not by an objective truth, but by how great powers perceive each other. The AI paper of the Pentagon shows that US military strategists do not want to wait until the transformation of the workers and peasants state into a high-tech dictatorship is completed. They want counter-strategies, not at some point, but now. Already last year, the US launched a global campaign against Chinese network suppliers like Huawei. Americans fear that China will dominate tomorrow's digital infrastructure and urge allies to refuse making deals with Huawei. The US government also wants to stop technology transfers to China. The agenda pursued here can be reduced to one word, cut off. China should be cut off from Western innovation. The US government is convinced that the development of future technologies, such as AI, is an existential struggle comparable to the nuclear arms race in the Cold War. However, the new system confrontation begins with an inherent advantage for authoritarian regimes. AI is only as good as the data fed to it, and in dictatorships there is no holding back for the state to gather data without any boundaries. Camera images, geo and health data, bank information, criminal records and medical records, everything is within reach, effortlessly. China is in the realm of super apps. WeChat, launched as a text messaging service, can order taxis, arrange medical appointments, book cinema tickets, pay for purchases, and, as the fine print states, keep or disclose user data at the request of a government agency. Meanwhile, in Europe and the US, there is the aftermath of the NSA affair. Lawmakers tighten data protection regulations, politicians call for the destruction of data monopolies. Recently, employee protests forced Google to abandon a Pentagon project designed to develop monitoring video evaluation algorithms. The fear of being perceived as an extension of the US government, this is the Snowden trauma of Silicon Valley. There's a lot at stake, the privacy and ultimately the self-image of liberal democracies. If government have the ability to control their populations through technology, is liberal democracy still a system of the future?